Hey, what's up guys? It's Marquez from the MKBHD channel, back with another HD video review for DroidDog.com and for the DroidDog YouTube channel. And today we're going to be taking a look at a productivity app, a task managing list app that kind of took over for me since I was using Google Tasks before, and that is called Wonderlist. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at it here. Uh, when you actually start loading it for the first time, there's a loading screen, but this is basically it. This is the Wonderlist app. As you can tell by the name, it is a wonderful alternative to Google Tasks and uh, basically allows you to throw things into lists. So what you're looking at is the main interface right here. Uh, pretty simple overall. You get a list of the things that you have for today. You have the overdue tasks and you have your star tasks. Then you have more, so you have other ways to sort through your tasks. So I'm going to go ahead and view all lists, and you can see here I have a couple set up. Up top is your inbox, which is where all new tasks automatically go before you categorize them. And you can see here I have to do a wonder list review, film the video, edit the video, and upload. So all you have to do to add one is go ahead and add a new task here. Just go ahead and title it, whatever you want. I'll call it meow, since I don't have anything else to write. Hit done, and the new task is added right down here. So you click on it. And you have the ability to change where it goes, so you can put it under Homework or YouTube or whatever you may have named your uh, particular folders. I call them folders. I'll uh, leave it in the inbox, and we're going to star it, which basically is a way of moving it automatically to the top of the list. You can set a due date. It doesn't remind you, and you also can't set recurring due dates or recurring tasks. But uh, if you do want to add a due date, you can do that. And you can also add notes, so you can make sure uh, to meow at a certain time. And... Uh, That'll be a go ahead and set the note. So when I hit save, you'll see that since I started, it's now up here at the top of the list. If I want to delete it, I'll long press and delete task. And that'll go ahead and be moved to the tasks that I've completed. So you can see I'm doing the wonder list review here. So I'm going to go ahead and unstar it. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and delete this too. Because later I have to uh, edit and upload the video review. I'll go ahead and hit back. Basically, you can see you can add more folders or more lists. So if I want to add more lists, I can go ahead and hit menu. Uh, and also during the settings, there's a whole different, uh, whole bunch of different ways you can theme this application. So for example, uh, just like the desktop app and the iOS app and the Android app and the Chrome app and all the different <laughs> locations you can have this app, you can change the background. So I might want a wood background or a nature leaf kind of sort of background, and you can choose that to be your background. I'll hit back. But you can definitely choose this app to be a uh, thin skinned to your liking. Also auto sync is checked so you don't have to go ahead and hit sync every time you add a task. But that's basically it. This has definitely taken over for me since I stopped using Google Tasks. I started using Wonderlist and I really haven't looked back since then. So you can check this out. It's available for free in the Android market and uh, I do highly recommend you check it out. Even if you don't use a task manager you might want to start when you see this app. Either way this has been MKBHD. Thanks for watching this video. I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Peace.